Hey Brian, it's Jim here at East Tennessee Dodge, 931-787-9548. Quick video on that 18 3500 single wheel regular cab SLT. Uh, she's in great shape. I already did my walk around here, kind of figuring out how I'm going to squeeze in here. But the driver's side, immaculate just like the, the passenger side. We'll walk around the whole thing. Oh, I'm going to suck it in. I'll get in there in a second. They didn't haul anything in the bed. It's got the, uh, of course, that can comes for free. Didn't see it. I drove on the, or walked on the passenger side. It's got the fifth wheel prep group in it from Mopar. B&W has a has a setup that fits in there, but of course you said you're taking that bed off. Sliding back glass. We'll get in on this side and be done with the being extra careful here. 26.48 on the miles. And if you guys are like us over there in North Carolina, you got the, the hands-free law. We just passed that July 7th. Backup camera is going to show up in that Uconnect 3 radio with the 5-inch display. 4x4 electronic transfer case. Integrated trailer brake box. Exhaust brake. Trailer to tow haul mode. And uh, the traction control lights as well. Storage behind the seats. Hook up our phones and the charging port and plug them right there in that pot. USB and auxiliary in the center console. And of course, center console storage. Manual shift on the gear shift. Power windows, power locks. It's got remote start. It's got heated side view mirrors as well. See if she's got enough fuel to start for us. Yeah, and of course, just the 2600 miles on the tires. Practically brand new. Tow mirrors, of course, that'll pop out here for us. Again, she's in great shape. Got no scratches, nicks, dings, or anything. Got a little bit of bird dew back here. A little bit of dust that I wiped off before. That's about it. Backup cameras here and the tailgate handle. Class 5 receiver hitch, so I will need a sleeve for the 4. I'm going to pull behind on it. But again, uh, you, know, you may be taking all of that off to put on your flatbed there. 4 and 7 pin hookup, so your wiring harness is there for your conversion that you not, might do. Never done one of those, so I don't know what all's entailed with that. But of course, she's 4x4. Four four. We saw that transfer case. I'm going to drive her here in a minute check it out. Make sure there's nothing wrong with her. And then I'll do you this favor. Maybe I can pause this and get back in front of the truck. We're going to try it out. Okay, so I paused it. Hopefully it still works for us. It was running on remote start. It stopped when I popped the hood. But you'll see our transmission dipstick on the driver's side of the truck. That is for the ice and transmission. It even says up there on top. We can read upside down the ASRC. And then... 68 RFE transmission dipstick would be on the passenger side. There is no compatibility between the two. So if I've got a 68 RFE, I can't put an ISIN in. If I got an ISIN in it, I can't put a 68 RFE in. Matter of fact, if something goes wrong with your ISIN transmission, Chrysler asks that you, uh, your service technician, drop it, box it up, and send it off to them just like it is because they want to know what the heck you did. So, Brian, I hope this gives you a better idea of what this truck looks like, the shape that it's in. This is Jim at East Tennessee Dodge, 931-787-9548.